addition of four digit numbers. Hello Neha, how are you? How was your day in your classroom today? I'm fine Tina and my day in the classroom was also very good. Okay Neha, so far you have learned addition up to three digits, right? Yes. Now I will tell you addition of bigger numbers. It is a lot like adding three digit numbers. We start with the ones, then move on to the tens, the hundreds and so on. Let us add 2392 and 5106. We add the ones. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Add the tens. 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. Add the hundreds. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Finally, add the thousands. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Neha, this was an example without regrouping. Now we will take an example with regrouping. Let us add 5, 3, 4, 8 and 3, 6, 7, 5. Adding the ones. 8 ones plus 5 ones is equal to 13 ones, which is equal to 110 plus 3 ones. Carry over 1 to the tens column and write 3 under the ones column. Adding tens, 110 carried plus 4 tens plus 7 tens is equal to 12 tenths, which is 100 plus 2 tenths. Carry over 1 to the hundreds column and write 2 under the tenths column. Adding the hundreds. 100 carried over plus 3 hundreds plus 6 hundreds is equal to 10 hundreds, which is 1000 plus 0 hundreds and carry over 1 to the thousands column and write 0 under the hundreds column. Adding thousands. 1000 carried plus 5 thousands plus 3 thousands is equal to 9 thousands. Write 9 under the thousands column. So 5348 plus 3675 is equal to 9023. Did you get this Neha? Yes. Neha, now I will tell you some properties of addition. These properties can help you to add quickly and correctly. Do you know, Neha, what happens when we add zero to a number? Yes, I know the number remains the same. Correct. Do you know, Neha, when we add 1 to the number, we get the next number? Yes, I know it. Neha, now I will tell you an important property. You know, when we add 2 or more numbers, the order of the numbers does not matter. Yes, Tina, I learnt it in class 2. Good, Neha. It is called the 
order property of addition. Let us see these examples. Neha, you should also know the grouping property of addition. This property says, in addition of three or more numbers, order of the numbers does not matter. Let us check this by some examples. 